Epic Avenger Seeker. I'm Allie Beerman, your guide to demystifying your world. And you're joining me for a very special episode of Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. What's special about today? Today is Pearls of Wisdom 2, where I go back to the last 24 episodes and bring you highlights. You will see, if you're watching, you'll see the name as well as the name of the episode that they were in. And if you're listening, you're going to hear it. So you can say, hey, I want to hear that one again. And you know where to look for it. Or, oh gosh, I didn't know anything about that. I missed that. I'm going to go find it. So take it all in. It's going to go by pretty quickly. Enjoy every moment. And be sure to let me know what topics you want more of so you can direct where we're going with the show. And I've studied the law of attraction. I've studied a small amount of quantum, the unified field, the superconscious from, you know, people I respect and admire. And I don't know that any one of us has figured it out where we can prove scientifically with fact that we are all one and we're all interconnected. This is all energy, but it's energy that we can't see, but it doesn't mean it's not there. So what is there that we can't yet see? Okay, where are we as a collective, as humanity? Where are we right now? And when you, we get into a connection, it sounds simple, but we get into a connection with that where people feel that oneness and they start realizing I'm not just some one individual being. I'm co connected completely to the whole of humanity and beyond. And because of that, I'm because of the feeling of not being alone anymore, you start to realize everything is connected. You're connected with source, you're connected with all humanity, all life. And it starts to put you more into that deep uh, connection of synchro destiny where there's no struggle and it's just the sense of things are unfolding. And when you experience struggle, it's because you're getting back into the ego. You're getting into, oh, me as an individual, I'm struggling with these issues, blah, blah, blah. And it, it's not about, it's not personal. It's about what just needs attention that may be showing up for you to focus on, but it's not just for you, it's for everyone. Like when you go to love yourself, when you go to do your own personal work on yourself, you're actually helping to clean this up for the collective simultaneously. I think this is something that is talked about sometimes, but it's not talked about enough. And realize you're not on your own, that we're all in this together. We really are in a deep, deep way. And we need to awaken more deeply to that truth. Uh, I'm introverted and I'm great on a stage. I'm great in a classroom, but at a party, that's the most terrifying place for me to be. Oh, it is so depleting. <laughs> it is. And, and I had a friend who was very extrovert. I like to live in the country. I like to live alone. And she was always worried about me. She couldn't understand why I like to be alone. <laughs> Like, what's what's the problem like why why would you want to be in your own company like who wants to do that most introverts <laughs> a lot less mental sorting needs to happen when you have your own space and you're kind of away from people and you have that ability to step away it's it's glorious to be in your own space and just having silence. Oh my gosh, silence. So for me is that that imprint, that imprint of who you are at your most truest, authentic self. It's not necessarily destiny or, um, um, you know, whatever that is for some people, but it's that core gift or light that you bring into the world. So That's what I think soul is. When you say that you're an advocate for the soul, what do you mean? Well, I believe that my life's work is to enable people to be their best selves, like to reach in deep and get into the truth of who they are. And that is soul self. 
And so I'm like the soul's greatest cheerleader on the earth. Yes, you could do it. Yes, you could do it. Yes, you could do it. <laughs> Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Own this. Own your light. The fact is that happy people live longer healthier lives. They have more success in business, in their occupation, in their relationships, in their social lives. But here's what's super, super important to know. Let's say that you can live your life on a degree of happiness ranging from one where no happiness happening all the way up to 10. Yeah, I am happy flying high all the time. Well, for me personally, I live about a uh, level seven or eight. Now, why is that important? Because as I said, bad things happen in everybody's life. And when the bad things happen, they're going to knock you down. So me, let's say that I'm living at a seven and something really traumatic, let's say, well, I had one of my best friends who transitioned. That was a very, very, very big loss for me um, recently. And that definitely took me down to, well, it was about a four, but I didn't stay there. You know, for a couple of days, I was feeling really sad. But then I popped right back up to the seven. Now, mom said, and find something in every person you deal with that you like and emphasize that point. And her end to that was because you might end up in PTA. I it. learned so much from Kit, from children. I mean, I, you know, I think one of the things society teaches us or has taught us is children are to be see seen and not heard and i i have found um that children do know do know and all you have to do is ask we are honored by the spirits and the, our guides and angels for being here and being human because it's not easy but we're here by choice and um you know it's a beautiful thing and we're also here by choice at this time i like to say mm. we are the ones we've been waiting for because it's all this love energy that's present now that changes the world and people who think that's ludicrous by being love and emanating love you change things the fact is that's the only way you change things that is yeah. the only way you change things. And that was that was part of the lesson. The lessons I've learned is from communicating with loved ones in spirit and the past lives, because we need to know who we are. We need to know who we are as souls. It gives us courage. It gives us reason, purpose. And you're right. And we're here. This is it. This is the big one. When we change those core beliefs. So here's what the core belief. It's something that you believe, you don't even know you believe it. You were taught it from the moment you were born. Probably you were really taught it from before you were born, because we can hear in utero, all right? So here's this core belief that affects you and destroys, it makes your life suck. Don't be afraid to be yourself. I, I, will, I will say that um, everybody has a, you, you came here with a purpose. And your purpose, it's not always going to line up with the, those that are around you. But it's still your purpose. <laughs> and you have to go down that road. And a lot of times that people are not going to like you for going down your path. People are, they're not going to agree. It's not going to lie. It, it, it'll be like mixing oil and water with, with some people. But it's meant for you. And it's okay to be different. It's okay to go against the grain. It's okay to not go with the crowd. You're being led by spirit to do you, to do your purpose. Your purpose is gonna require you to be in certain circles and to stay out of certain circles.
it's all okay. Just be you. Follow your own path. When you commit, you are creating a focal point for the creative, the co-creative energies that will bring that little desire into physical matter. And if you don't commit, it doesn't happen the way you intended to. It can be a mess. It can get lost. It doesn't ever happen. So the being able to commit is key to being the focal point for the creative energies that will allow that experience to come into matter so that you and others can enjoy it. Just because you have a thought and because you've believed it for so long, just because other people in your world believe it, in fact, the other people in your world are the people responsible for putting it in to your mind, doesn't make it real, doesn't make it true. In fact, it's the stories that you tell yourself the stories not truth the stories you tell yourself that keep you stuck it's the stories the false stories you tell yourself that cause your suffering I wish you a wonderful day filled with blessings and reminding you to look for the gifts because they're out there. They're surrounding you. They're coming at you and messages nonstop. And you can choose to tune into them. Some people prefer to choose to tune into what hurts. And they like to struggle. And they literally live their life from crisis to crisis to crisis. That's a choice. Struggle's always optional. Enjoy each moment. I N capital J O Y because everything happens within your awareness. You're not seeing anything out there, you're seeing in here. You're not hearing out there, you're hearing in here. Your taste, your touch, your smell it all happens within. So enjoy every moment.